we're just about high up enough for them not to be able to look in. They can probably see this area. We can definitely see into other people's houses because there's like a house that's just on the corner here. Like the bathroom, like when they've got the lights on, you can just, you can like just, even though it's like kind of like a frosted glass. It's meant to be frosted. You can but... see everything that's going on, like everything, like, like pretty details. Don't really open my blinds though, because there's like people's windows behind, so I just leave them shut. And I don't seem to like that man over there, so I don't open him. He's like always at the window. It's not to cut yourself, be antisocial, but I think you just need that privacy. It is quite private. The fence is high enough, so you could sort of sunbathe out there, stalkers, because nobody can see you at all. Simple as that. <laughs> if they're out, if we're out, it's just a, we just respect each other's wishes. If we feel that oh, they have enough time on their own, we'll just sort of think, oh, we'll go back here. And I'm sure they do that as well when we're, we've got family around. It's nice, pleasant outlook, it's really nice, local for everything, shops and uh, church. I belong to the church there, which again is quite handy. So. We chose to live here because it's quite close to um, Matthew's mum's house and then it's close to the parks. My husband looked at things like bus stops, he looked at uh, if they were boarded up or if they were made of glass or plastic. He looked at um, schools. Um, did he watch the school runs to see what sort of mothers, I know it sounds really horrible this, but what sort of mothers were going to the school, so what sort of area it's going to be. I didn't look up anything like that, so if I was buying a house, I probably wouldn't even think like that. But now I would, now, being wiser now, but then I wouldn't have. So this is all, this is all the, the council land which we've got, which is the one selling point that sold the house to my husband, that if ever we had children, they could use the field. So would you say it's like a safe area, generally, or...? Um, yeah, I would say it's safe. I don't like kids, the younger ones going out of the garden, really. We've got the patch of green there, and if they're there, I'm not too bothered. But there's, there's enough for them to do. There's a skate park and there's the community centre on your doorstep, so you can't ask for anything more than that. Two people living in each apartment. So, yeah. Yeah. We know the neighbours in this. Yeah. In our little area, because we see them when you bump into people as you come out, but the rest of the block, like, apart from like, the lady upstairs and the people directly below us, we don't actually really know anyone apart from just people you might just say hi to on the stairs. The apartment below us was free and it was cheaper as well. But um, we just we wouldn't like to live on the ground floor because you just don't feel as safe. I think it was quite important to me as well, knowing that I'd be living somewhere safe. Because where I um, used to live in Denmark, like my parents' house, so it was like one of the safest places in Denmark and stuff. So I'm used to, you know, sometimes being able to go out and just not locking the door and stuff, and you know that nothing will happen. A couple of years ago, uh, we had a spate of burglaries here. That was a little bit of a concern, and. Um... We sorted our own neighbourhood watch out, you know, we exchanged telephone numbers and consequently during the evening, if a car comes up here, you know, just usually watch them to see, um, make sure they go back out again, you know. We haven't got, we haven't got an alarm in the house. Um, I think there must be a neighbourhood watch. Um, I've left my door unlocked numerous times, the back door. I've left... Well, my car stays unlocked all the time. It's fine, so we haven't got anything. It's very, very safe.